All right. Awesome. All right, guys. Happy Sunday. How's everybody doing? Good. Awesome. So the first part of the call, um, I really want to always start with some shout outs. Um, you guys are doing some amazing things that you should be proud of and that you're seeing. And I, um, I want to hear from you guys. I want to let you go first because because you're all leaders and leaders go first. Um, so who wants to give some shout outs today? What's 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 gone great this week? Yep, I've had a big week. Oh, cool. Go, Jen. I think I'm off mic. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Got it. I, I've had, I think, my first um, two value pack week. I've had a big week where I think Disney's concerned. And um, I have people that I don't know messaging me um, for enrollments and signups. So I've, I've had, I've been really putting in some good pockets of time. That's awesome. So can you, Jen, I'm sure some people on the line are wondering what, you know, what do you think has spurred that? Why are you all of a sudden getting some messages unsolicited, I guess I should say? I think part of it is because um, Melissa and Tammy both finally challenged me to go outside of my box and comfort zone and be vulnerable where my husband used to play in the NFL. I don't always want everybody knowing our business. Um, and so Melissa's like, you got to get out of that. So I have, I'm much more on, um, social media. I'm sharing more about what we do generally on social media. And I think people are following that. I never realized we're following. Awesome. Hang on. Let me mute some folks. I'm hearing some background noise. You can keep going, Jen. Okay. I just heard my echo like three times in a row. <laughs> I thought yeah, maybe I I'll stop. Um, no. So anyway, it's been exciting. And I told Melissa today that I, I thrive on the coaching aspect, but I'm coaching the business now too. So I'm having a great time with it. Awesome. And, and one of the things Melissa wanted me to point, point out with that business component is I'm leading with just the education to 100 BV. You don't have to have 100 BV, but if you want to be in your best interest um, for those people who can't go ahead and sign up with the value pack or whatever or for their auto ships, I'm like, listen, here's an example. And I have two personal examples of people that most of my people know, or even if they don't, they can relate to. And I said, um, they were consistent product users. The company rewards you for that. I said, if you want to be rewarded with a, one of my friends got a check for over $600, um, after about four months and she had, or not a check, but the ISA wallet, um, debit where she checked how much her balance was. She was so excited. And I said, and then another friend got over a thousand dollars and that's just for continually keeping at least hundred BV on their auto ship. So typically that gets them to go ahead and do it. I'm not a hundred percent by any means with my people, but I'm definitely leading with that. And I'm also leading with, um, you just need to share it. I know you're going to love it. You're going to share it. I hadn't planned on sharing it, but here I'm sharing it a lot and I'm loving it. I'm getting my family's products paid for and I'm working into a whole lot of other things getting paid for. So when I go with confidence, it seems to be very successful. Awesome. Great share. And it is confidence is everything. So thank you for sharing, Jennifer. All right. Who's next? Who wants to do some recognition? Hey, I'll pop up uh, behind oh. Jennifer. I'll go, go, go for it, Melba. So, um, so yeah, Jennifer, <laughs> I really just wanted, uh, you know, Melissa and I were talking, just really wanted to shout you out. Jen, where did you go? I'm looking for your, your video. Maybe she's gone. Um, wanted to show, thanks for just I just wanted to shout out because you've blown up the isopole and um, it's really awesome to see the work that you're doing and even your team. So I want to also shout out Jody Howard. I understand is this her third five cycle week, um, which is awesome. Um, and so it's just, yeah, yeah. You said third, right? For Jody Howard. I can't hear you. You're muted, Jennifer. It might be her first because she. I was thought it was her first, but Melissa told me it was her third. Did oh, I get that wrong? Did I, get that I, wrong Melissa? I told you it's been a bad weekend. When you sent me that text message, I thought you were talking about Jennifer. I was like, yeah, she's hit five cycle a couple times. I didn't know no, you were no, talking Jody about Howard. Jody Howard. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's my yeah, sister. Yeah, Jody Howard that's hit five cycles this week. 
Oh, well, if you haven't talked to your sister this week, shout her out because that's <laughs> awesome. And she's consultant, so she should get the bonus, right? Yes. Um, Has she been consultant for seven days? <clears throat> no. So she won't get that bonus, but she'll oh, at least. Okay. Okay. But that's still awesome. And she's up for potential bonus and like just one ten away. So I just want to say congratulations. So awesome to see people, you know, down the team who are benefiting. So congratulations to you working in the pockets of your time. And I also wanted to shout you out for your post. Um, I've been watching your social media post and it's so like engaging you're doing a great job with your photos. I noticed the lighting. Um, it's very bright and you know, you can just see the joy and how happy you are. So like, even if it's not in the words, you can see it. So I want to give you a shout out for that. Um, and then I wanted to shout Thank out, you. Uh, Tammy, because Jennifer, for some reason, I guess I don't have your cell phone. So I've been behind the scenes with like Tammy and Melissa. I don't know if you know this, but I'm like, uh, I think someone's in great spirit and I'll call the line to see what needs to be done, how many points, what orders are messed up. And, um, and Tammy's like, we're going to get right on it because we're riding with them. We're doing that. So shout out to you, Tammy, for the wonderful teamwork. Um, I really love that because I don't want to see anyone miss something that, you know, we could help each other that you may not see, or I'm sure you're on top of it, but in case, so shout out to you, Tammy. Tammy, I appreciate you and Heather's efforts. Um, I guess I could have just asked for Jen's number, but you guys are all there together. And I think the more we work together, the better it is. Um, plus I'm a little analytical. So sometimes that helps because I can just get in there faster than some other people. So um, <laughs> Tammy's laughing because she knows how nerdy I get. Yeah. So um, congratulations to you all. I'm glad that that, that worked out. And then I want to shout out to Katie Chong, who will be watching this recording, but she's at work in Australia. And to Melissa, like, I don't know how we got through that call. Can you guys hear me? My internet's unstable. Yep. I don't know how we got through that call last night. Melissa, like, you know, frogged her way through. Her voice got very strong. Um, but shout out to you, Katie Chong. She has already joined the international sponsorship. So if anyone here does not have their international sponsorship, it's $49. Um, you need to get that. So what I, and I feel bad she lost like 400 BB. She was enrolled in Australia, all of the United States on that side, she didn't get credit for. So she'll not get credit for that. She went after our call, enrolled in the international package. Excited, she's looking to enroll um, some people from Hong Kong, and she's trying to get someone in South Africa, but we're not there yet. But shout out to you, Katie. So I think that's all my shout outs, Melissa. Awesome. I love it. Absolutely. That was a fun call last night. Um, okay. Great shares. And, so, and, a, and a shout out to Melva for getting on the phone at nine o'clock last night. We're doing business calls on a Saturday night. And I, I had to blow them off on Friday night because I had no voice at all. I was like, I can't. Um, <clears throat> all right. Who else wants to speak? I think, Christine, you, you yeah. had your hand up. I just want to give a quick shout out to Brandon. He is one of my newly enrolled. Um, this guy is a rock star. He's in two months, this guy has lost like 22 inches, about 36 pounds. He enrolled his sister last night. So he's definitely oh, he's sharing. Um, no, one more will hit consultant, but uh, not there yet. But this was really huge for him. And it just the messages that I get from him is so um, touching because now he understands the value of helping somebody else. And for him to help his sister out as the first person is like, life-changing experience for him so it um, goes to show that we are very emotionally attached to this product and it's life-changing so don't forget about that um, but it, and also um, I guess I, got, I saw something like crazy happening in my back office which I was like what's going on <laughs> I know Melva was on the thread and Melissa so um, I guess I cycled another hundred times in the last like 12 or 13 months or something and then a bunch of BBs got washed out of my back office <laughs> so it's a good thing so don't freak out if that happens to you it's, it's actually a good thing so uh, i was kind of excited to learn about the mega cycles i guess this is the fourth time that's happening to me but i didn't realize it because i maybe have not been paying attention to it so um kind of cool so my next goal personally is to shorten that amount so i'm not going to wait like 13 months for another 100 cycle so next goal is like less than a year <laughs> So that's it. Awesome. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Sorry, I just like cough right into the thing. <clears throat> um, that's a great share, Christine. Yep. Um, and I've never had that problem. I wish I had that problem. I'm building my legs flat. Who, who else has a shout out? <coughs> Anybody else? If not, um, I want to, I have got my notes here. I wanted to give a quick shout out. Um, 
Stacy um, does. I don't know if you can see her hand. Yeah, go Stacy, please. Yes, I am. My computer froze. <laughs> okay, there I am. I want to give a shout out real quick to, I'm so sorry you're sick, Melissa. I hope you, bless your heart. I know that feeling. Um, Alicia Rowan, just who is one of my, she came to Super Saturday in Greensboro. Um, she's a fitness trainer and she is a Montessori teacher. She posted her first transformation post tonight and she tagged me in it. So if you got to go love on her post um, on my page, that would be very much appreciated. She has been reading she sh and, and showing up, asking questions. She gets on the calls and she's been talking to people. She's always texting me questions. She's learning. Um, we, we chatted this weekend about our solidifying how to set up a three-way call and getting clear on that. So I know it is just a matter of time before she has her first two enrollments. And we're going to flip her to associate and get those enrollments so she can hit consultant. It's, it's only a matter of time. That's awesome. That's what it takes. It just takes, it takes consistency before it just all starts to happen. I love it. Thank you for staring, sharing, um, Stacy. Anybody else have any shares? I'm going to have to go run and grab a cough drop in a minute. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, but I think it'll be the perfect time to go grab. A, actually, Stacy, <coughs> while I go grab a cough drop, I'll be right back. Um, I challenge you guys. <clears throat> you and Dawn raised your hands and said you were gonna lead, uh, you were gonna tell your financial story to as many people as possible this week. Um, and because you and Dawn were really moved by um, Chelsea's uh, call on Friday, I'd love to hear how that went for you, good, bad, and everything in between. I'll be right back, I've, I'm gonna put you on speaker so I can hear you, but I want the team to hear your experience. Absolutely. Thank you. Sorry. I was just asking Alicia to make her post public so everyone can see it. It should be on my timeline if it's not. Um, but yes, so I have been trying to share more about the business, being more confident about the business. And instead of, uh, I've, I've tend or had a tendency to look for people who need this instead of people who were already successful have businesses or are an entrepreneur of some sort and may be interested in more opportunities. So I kind of shift my focus um, to, or I guess broadening my net, not just looking for people who need a health reset, not just people who need to make an extra $500 a month, but people that are actually business savvy and, and can or, or, or hopefully open-minded, more open-minded. Um, and so, and like Melissa said on the call Friday, um, one of the great things about Chelsea, Susan, and Melissa they do consistently on the calls is they'll give us a call to action at the end. Melissa does it a lot at the end of all of our um, Zoom meetings too. So if you pay attention to the end, they'll usually give you a task to go do. And so on Friday, Chelsea said, I challenge you to share your financial story with 10 people. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. So I went to LinkedIn. Um, I tried to... Um, do the three by three by three method, three reach outs, three um, follow ups and three love on peoples on all three forms of social media. So actually it's nine, nine and nine. Um, and so I hit LinkedIn and um, Instagram the most um, because I've been doing this for a while and I'm just looking for fresh new people that are open to ideas and just learning and taking a look at what we have. And so I reached out to a few folks on LinkedIn that I had already connected with um, prior. And I always start every LinkedIn message um, pretty much the same and I can post anything. I don't think I have anything groundbreaking here. Um, but I always thank them for connecting. Hey, hey Stacy, real quick. Um, I'd yeah. love for you to post that for the team. If you'll post it either in the thread or mm -hmm. on the, the Facebook page, either one. Yeah, I'll screenshot it. I'm just looking at my phone. But um, I always start with thanking them um, for connecting or accepting my invitation to connect. Looking forward to networking with them and hope they have a great day. Or um, I usually try to insert a question depends on how tired I am how much I've been connecting already um, if they respond back then I definitely ask a question such as how does LinkedIn serve 
you best in your business if they have one um, or I ask them what type of networking are you looking to do here on LinkedIn so that we, and then that usually gives uh, uh, opens the door because they're gonna ask me the same thing well what are you looking for on LinkedIn and so that gives me a pretty good idea of I'm not just gonna shut down if if they have if they're not gonna do me any service but I could definitely gauge how much time I put into a conversation um, and, and how quickly I should move on um, and so for example I reached out to uh, I thanked another um, person for reaching out and um, there are a couple and it turns out they do some type of um, mm, they do seminars and, and keynote speakers and things. I think they run some type of service to network marketers or what have you. Um, and so I knew right away, you know, they're probably not, they do more, I, th I think they do more of the attraction marketing, building systems and programs to sell to people to help them be better network marketers. I'm sure you guys have seen those sponsored ads and things. Anyway. Long story short, we just exchanged a few a few conversation pieces back and forth, and um, and she did say Isogenics is a great company. And so I asked, well, have you guys been involved in any network marketing companies in the past, just to see, you know, if she if they have dabbled or to see what kind of openness they may have. Um, but my goal is to ask them what they are looking for on LinkedIn. That usually gives me the opportunity to share what I'm looking for and I tell them that I'm a retired cardiovascular specialist they can look at my profile picture and clearly see that I'm younger than 65 um, and so that usually raises questions um, and that I have shift my focus to uh, preventative health with nutrition versus reactive health with uh, health care in the operating room setting um, and that I have partnered with my friend Melissa who's a, uh, a sorry to say psychologist I'm sorry a pharmacist um, and I usually sometimes I'll weave in a little bit of, of her story too that's called social proofing um, when I do that with for example a gentleman named Ed he's a pharmaceutical sales rep I know those jobs are very unstable and so I've, I've dripped a little bit of Melissa's story um, in our conversation and asked him if he'd be open to learning more about what we do and he is so I sent him and I thanked him for his openness I sent him um, I said here's our team website as, and I say here's the password before I send the links because so many times people just click on their link and they come back and say I can't get in I'm like well you didn't read all of my message but people are busy and so I send the password and I drag them to um, I did mention my health reset I always start with how I started for health and how it's helped my husband and I especially if I'm talking to another male so I feel like that kind of helps them not think they don't pre-frame it around well it's just a weight loss thing for women it's not just a health thing so I always I usually infuse that my husband and I've had health transformations when I'm talking to other men um, and so he was open I sent him to the Y cleanse video and I directed him to Murray's video all on the get free global website and I told him that um, and I set the expectation of um, I can't remember exactly what I said but I said take a look around take a look and generate questions we'll set up time later this week to chat um, if you're open I would love for you to hear Melissa's story um, and so he is and so on Friday I sent out messages very similar to that um, and I will follow up with all those people tomorrow they've had the weekend to um, look at the tool if we got that far in the conversation and we'll see um, if I'm setting up any calls with Melissa this week awesome well and it's a numbers game I'm not mm -hmm. sure how many messages you sent out but you've got one that's interested um, and that's usually how it works for me every week I tend to send a bulk of my messages at the beginning of the week mm -hmm. and um, I, it's like I'm grinding out and prospecting on Mondays and Tuesdays and then setting up my calls towards the end of the week and through the weekend mm -hmm. and then come back to Monday or Tuesday I'm blasting again mm -hmm. and you may send 20 or 30 messages and you get one bite 
Um, and maybe out of every four bites, one enrolls and becomes a builder, you know, and that's, it's a numbers game. It's very true. The week before it was Instagram. I had, um, I had done like a, a cast a net, um, looking at entrepreneurs, their bio had said something about entrepreneur or business owner, boutique, whatever. Um, and I, I sent probably 12 to 15 messages and I got one phone call. Um, and said that I did that more. I pushed more this Friday or, um, this week was LinkedIn. And I've so far I've got, I said, uh, it was 10 to 12 messages, fresh messages on Friday alone. And so not all of them, not everyone uses the chat feature on, on LinkedIn. So some people never even respond to your initial reach out. Um, and so, and again, from 10 to 12 reach outs, I have hopefully one, I've already asked Melissa for what her availability is. So when he comes back, so tomorrow I can say, here's when we're available, what works for you? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, if you guys will drop your um, email addresses all in the run with me feed, the messenger feed, because you guys are like booking me like hotcakes and it's hard for me to, to um, make sure I don't double book myself. But if you guys can just see my calendar, then you can just go in and you can like nab spots that are available. I think I'm going to start doing that with you guys because my, my weeks are filling up like this, which is great. That means you guys are working hard. You're working hard out there. Awesome. Well, thank you for this, the share, Stacy. I think the key is consistency and having a plan to funnel in and get people to the next step. Um, I'd love to now um, turn it over to Dawn. Dawn, if you're ready to speak, because I'm not, because I don't have a voice, um, share with us how you led with your financial story this week. Sure. So thanks, Stacy, for sharing. And I, I'm sitting here listening and I'm realizing we both listened to the same call with Chelsea and took away two completely different messages. So one thing I want to highlight that you had talked about, Stacy, was really connecting with um, people that, you know, need this opportunity. And that's what I was doing. So I feel like as I really, you know, look back and reflect of like, why am I not where I want to be? I think because I'm trying so hard to um, convince people that this is something for them. And I'm done with that. So now I'm really looking for people that I find intriguing. I, perhaps I know them, perhaps I don't already. And I'm really starting to make friends with people. So interesting, I, I go to the gym a lot. I'm very consistent now. I'm making friends with a lot of people and I've just been stopping and chatting with people. And then sure enough, they start to ask me questions, but I'm dripping and I'm not in your face where I was pouncing previously. And then if someone you know starts talking about oh, you know, financial, oh my gosh, this economy and I'm working and I've got multiple jobs. Oh my gosh, I totally hear you. But I don't just drop it all there because I'm going to see them again. So I'm building that in. But what um, specific examples of how I shared my story. So um, this was really, I mean, it's, it's being very transparent and vulnerable. And that was the call to action that I heard from Chelsea was share your financial story. If it's not pretty, share it, let people know. So previously in the past, when people have given me the cost objection and they've just absolutely, I can't do it. Um, I have a college, uh, well, a college roommate, my gosh, it's been 30 years, but I've reconnected and we've had multiple conversations. She was really interested in what I was doing. She actually asked me about it. So I sent her to the get free page. And then I, um, we, she sent me a message that just said, you know, really, um, it's just, I can't take on any extra financial opportunities right now, you know, anything extra financially, blah, blah, blah. So I have set up, she lives in Colorado, so we have a time difference to chat with her. And my plan is to just, as because I did say, I totally hear you. I was not the best, um, you know, financially uh, with my money. I had a lot of debt and Dan and I have been really working on managing that debt. So over the past five years, we've been able to get that under control, consolidate, but right now, where I'm at is I'm eating for free. So that extra four or $500 a month is going towards bills. Would that be something that would benefit you? 
because what I realized is that I was going to grandiose, like, you know, oh my gosh, we can, I can quit my corporate job and retire like Melissa and telling Melissa's story, which is fantastic, but it's not a lot of the people that I know. It just seems way too pie in the sky. So I'm trying to take it back down of, you know, some months it's a couple hundred dollars, some months it's $500, some months it's a couple thousand dollars, depending on how much work I can put into it. But at the end of the day, if this is what you want and you're going to get healthy and you want to build a side business, you can dip your toe in and we can start doing that together. So that was one example. Um, I've reached out to multiple um, college roommates, people that I know that I want to lock arms with. I love these people. I love these uh, men and women. And I just am being very vulnerable and sharing the story of this is um, how this is part of my plan, my um, plan B so that I can pay for college for my children um, and continue to get out of debt. One of the other things that I've done is I've just reached out very bold to people that um, I know that are entrepreneurial and I've connected them with the Get Free page um, and had them tune into your call, Melissa. So following up around that to see if it's something they're interested in. So that's been um, another tool that I've used. And then something else that I've done is I'm putting myself out there. I typically don't go to all these different parties, you know, that people have, but I did go to, believe it or not. Um, oh gosh, what is it even called now? Oh, it's not Chico's, not Chino's. Cabby. I went to a Cabby party <laughs> with an old um, nursing colleague who's now director in the nursing ICU. And lo and behold, the people that were there were all um, high up in the admin at the hospital scene. So I started to ask the cabby um, stylist who's known this VP of nursing for 10 years from Charlotte. Oh, well, why are you doing this? And tell me a little bit about it. So she's been doing it for um, 10 years because um, the rug, she said, could get ripped out from underneath me. She's in investment banking. She wanted a backup plan. It's taken her all this time to build my business. So I kept asking questions. Tell me more about it. She has to invest all this money in all these clothes. And she drove two hours to Asheville to do this party. And then she makes 30% profit. But anyway, very interesting. So I shared a little bit. Oh, I'm doing something, you know, but with health and wellness. So we started to talk about it, but I did not interject, you know, want to take over, but I just dropped it a little bit in there. And then um, my friend wants to hear about more when I go to pick up my purchase because by that was a fun party, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> so it's just um, being more vulnerable, just sharing that, you know, I'm actually doing something that I um, want to plan B. I do want um, to share my story. And even though it's not where I want it to be, it's where it needs to be. And I think it's more relatable to other people when you're vulnerable, instead of me just saying, okay, well, when, you know, I can help you with getting that, just saying, you know, this is exactly what I did and not being so vague and giving them uh, actual, like, what are the stepping stones that you need to do to get there, to get things paid for so that um, you can be healthy because everyone should be able to be in the eat, for, eat it for free club. So instead of trying to like push toward too far and, it, and scare people away, I'm backing it way up. So I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, and that's really where I'm at. I'm being just very vulnerable, um, putting myself out there and I'm trying to share with other people and leverage other people's stories. Awesome. So I wrote a couple things down, Dawn, if I don't lose along while I talk about it. Um, so the first thing I loved was that you're being extremely vulnerable. I find that the people who are the most vulnerable in this business are the most successful. Um, and I feel like when I came forward with really even my financial story and coming forward with my discontent in corporate America, even though from the outside, it looked like a dream job, it wasn't the dream life. And a lot of people in corporate America are not willing to publicly say that, even though deep down inside, they feel that way. And so <coughs> when we're bold enough to go first with whatever is on our heart, that people can relate to. It gives them permission to openly feel and say how they feel about that particular topic as well, especially when it comes to money. You know, I was really vulnerable in talking about college loan debt and 
throughout my three year journey with Isogenics. Um, you guys followed me along my way, counting up the days until I got my loans paid off. And a lot of people don't go public with that. They, they graduate from college, they tuck that debt away and they don't talk about it, but they lose a lot of sleep over it, right? So when we're vulnerable to your story about your kids going to college and your decisions about your money, it's relatable and people are willing to listen because they don't feel like you're selling them, right? <coughs> I also like what you said about not really dragging people along with you anymore and looking for your people, looking for that energy. And, um, and that this business, there can be a gateway. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing. That um, there is a bridge that people can step into with this business. Um, and it starts that way for everyone, um, no matter who you are. If you've got huge financial goals, it starts with Crystal Manager. Right, it starts with a two hundred and fifty dollar. Well, it starts with a consultant. It starts with a fifty dollar rank advancement bonus. Um, and so, I just I love what you've shared about everything. <clears throat> um, I think that was it. I love parties too. I went to a party on Tuesday, even though I felt like this. It was when I was first losing my voice, and I drug myself there. And there was a girl that showed up there. It was twenty five girls who were small business owners. One of my good friends put it together and she's going to start doing it once a month for us to just support and uplift each other. And um, this girl who showed up was like, oh my God, I, wa I watched your Facebook live the other day with those pharmacy moms and I've been following you ever since. And she's like a fitness fanatic. Turns out she's a private fitness instructor. She's fascinated about what I do with Isogenics and she wants to learn more. And I have a meeting with her on Wednesday and she wants to get started. So um, you got to get out there. <laughs> Go to parties whether you want to or not. All right, awesome. Good shares. Now, the question is, <clears throat> am I going to be able to get through coaching you guys through <laughs> the verbiage of the committed consumer or should I table it? Because I don't know that I have the vocal capacity to do it. Um, I did want Melva and... <laughs> perhaps this is what we do. I know Melva and Jennifer, Jennifer, you shared a little bit already, but I'd love for you guys on the line who already have some verbiage around how you work with, the, uh, how you get your new customers to become committed consumers. Share with the rest of the group how you do that. And then I will do a Facebook Live this week when I don't sound like this. And I will share with you guys how I do it. But I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm my voice is just dwindling. But um, I want to hear from the rest of you. So how are you guys doing it right now? Who wants to go first? Jennifer, do you want to go first? You can go first. I can go first. I don't care. I think that means I'm going first. So um, I've just been, I, I've kind of with what Dawn said, you're surrounding yourself with people that you like, that like you, that are positive energy. That's helpful because when I'm doing it, I'm just straightforward. And Tammy teases me. She's like, you just tell them what they're doing. <laughs> and I kind of do that to a sense, but not um, indirectly, I kind of lead with, you know, how busy my schedule is, you know, how much my husband and I have going on and with the kids. This is not something that I ever thought I was going to be doing. This is something I was gifted with a shake canister and it's all changed since then. I said, and I love sharing aspects so much that I had no idea when I was getting paid. And then when I was getting paid enough to pay for our groceries and I was like, huh, but it was really that at, and I'll even reference um, Global Celebration. I'll say when I went there and I saw all these other people going across the stage, I thought, why not me? Then with some of these calls that I've been engaged in, I've talked a little bit more to Melissa about, I said, why not me completely? I'm a physical therapist. I work at least three days a week right now. I don't really, that's not my passion to do that on someone else's timetable. So I'm vulnerable when I'll tell someone that. Um, I'm just like, this is, this has helped me. And at this point, and a few people who I'm close to, I'll be like, this is what I've made the past few months. And their eyes are opening and they're like, cause they know I haven't been really going hard with this for that long. 
And I said, this could be something you could do too. I can see you crushing it and killing it. But what you really need to do to, in the beginning is if you want to try out the products, I know you're going to love them. There's an 87% product user retention rate. That's huge. I said, just maintain that 100 BV. I'll help you share when you're ready to share and we'll just go for it. So I just go with confidence. I lead them out. I'm like, this is what's happened. I never expected it, but I'm eating it up. I'm thriving on it. And I said, now with a new change, and I even refer to it. I'm very transparent. I say with what Melissa said and what we've been coached, we're being coached more directly toward the business of it. I say that. I said, this isn't something I have any history of, but man, this comp plan's amazing. It's worth your time. I'll send you a video on it. If you want to talk more, I can get you on a three-way call. I can figure it all out. But a lot of times lately, I mean, they've been signing up. Like I said, I've had, I've had three value packs in a week and a day. Um, and that's not where I started, but that's once it all goes to what Melissa said, what Chelsea said, what a lot of them said about that posture. Once you get more confident in the posture and speaking it, and some of you have been doing this for a long time, so you already had it. I didn't fully have it, but I feel like I have it now. And so even though Tammy would say that I had it, cause she's like, you just tell them what to do. And I said, I've always been, leadership is my thing from teams to whatever. And I love it. So anyway, and most of the people who are engaging with me, um, already know that I have been gluten-free for years. I've been organic for years. I'm very, I'm very intense about health. Um, so then they take that and they run with it and they trust what I'm going to say and tell them. So, but with the business aspect, I'm doing it every single time I talk to anybody. That's great, Jennifer. Thanks for jumping out there and going first. So just a few things I'd like to comment on what you said about Melissa gets her voice back. I think it's good that your posture has an increased in your confidence. And what you'll see is that success breeds success. So the more successful you've gotten in it, it seems like you've just, you know, massively increased that. The other thing that I, I think you said that, that we can all apply in our businesses is, is the posture and not being afraid to take what you're getting coached on and actually let people know that. So that's, I know you're a coach and I know you know this, but that's actually called, um, if you listen to Ray Higdon, um, it's ILT. So it's invest, learn, and teach. So what we're actually doing is that you are investing time and your energy coach with Melissa Hinault, Susan Miller, Tammy Fry, Heather Fry, all of the coaches on our team. So you've invested, you learn those techniques, and then you're teaching the people that you're bringing in that. And that formula is, is like a circle. And so when you do that, it does a couple things. One, it makes people say, hey, I can do this because she did it. And she's teaching something that someone else taught her. So it kind of takes us, especially as healthcare professionals because I've had this problem it takes us off that pedestal of oh well of course you did it Jennifer because you always do everything or of course you do it like you know Dr. Mel because you do everything and people start to say well wait a second she learned that from someone else you know she invested her time learned that from someone else shared it with me and now I can do it which I think is powerful so I think that's a good point you make which has been highlighted when Melissa and some of the other calls have been um, Susan Miller really, really pushes that duplication simplicity. So I've even used those terms when I'm talking to people. It's not me that I know everything. And I said, and we have this amazing website and I pull the website up on my iPad. I show them, I'm look at this. I can send you that link. You can send anyone the link. You don't have to know it all. It's right here. They've done all the work for you. Um, one of the other things I've done with some of my business builders is I've gone and trained them on the phone and in training. And I've taken a couple at a time. So I'm trying to make that happen. And then Tammy and I are, and a few others are heading up a best 60 days. So like the best 60 days out of 2018, make these best 60 days um, our best. Mm -hmm. So, or these last 60 days our best. That's been huge on some of our new people. We're getting some of the most positive engagement we've had. Um, so we're excited about it. So we're hitting it like multi, multi hitting it all over the place, but it seems to be working really well. And then Don, kind of working with Don a little bit too. Um, we're just using each other's ideas and helping each other grow. Yeah, that's awesome. Can I add one thing to that? And you may already be doing this, but one thing I learned kind of later on and, and you see Melissa's doing it now, when you have those smaller groups, I would just try to 
record everything. And if people are comfortable in that, especially your team, because then you'll be able to deploy that or, you know, Tammy or Heather or Cindy or other people in your team, in your local area. It's kind of nice to go back and hear these and having your own personal set of recordings that you're as a leader coaching, I think for anybody would be valuable. So. That's a good idea. Tammy and we haven't been doing that. We yep. pushed ourselves that we need, we need to be doing that. Yeah. But yeah. So that's one of our challenges. I've got to give one of mine kiss good night. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> awesome. So, but anyway, um, it's been good. Awesome. Awesome. Great share. Thank you very much. Malva, did you want to add anything as far as what you're doing or does anybody else as well, as far um, as committed consumer? I, I, I think that was good for committed consumer for me. I've really just been introducing people using the get free page. I was really excited about this, that tool. And I think I shared it on the call when I was driving into work. Um, but I've tried to explain to people that we're using the products because the first thing people say to me are, well, do you use this? Did it work for you? And I'm like, yeah, we absolutely use the products the way it works for our family. Um, and I talk about how we're saving money. So like, actually my husband and I are both doing Susan Sly's challenge right now. Um, with the isogenics and the keto diet and we've had like phenomenal results like you can see in my face if you look from the last time you saw me um, but we've actually made a concerted effort to switch to instead of buying the snacks our kids are going to go to the way thins when we first started we were super like enthusiastic with that and I remember Melissa told me how you know you get the 10% discount on bulk orders of six she was so organized we moved for a little bit but now we see how impact those BD are only our business, but everybody in our team above and below. So that's something we're doing. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. It says my internet is unstable, but I've just been talking more about it. I'm using the products more, making it more visible. So then it makes sense connecting that to the business that, you know, I don't get paid for like a bag of Dorito, you know, but isogenics, I, I can, I can eat those for free. So I just try to make that normal in conversation and like our kids, I know this is crazy, but the girls actually have our bags from celebration as their book bags at school. So, you know, use the kids where you can. Oh my Tax gosh. Her. I love it. I love it. Okay. So does anybody else want to share how they're creating committed consumers? Um, I've got my notes here. I'm just trying to decide. I just wanna, it looks like uh, Christine's raising her hand too. Yeah. Oh, go I for it. I didn't see Christine. Christine, go Go, go ahead, Christine. You're on mute. You're muted, Christine. There. Okay. So last week, Melissa showed us how to expand the tree and see how many people are underneath each people's people, which I didn't know how to do. Um, so I went back and I probably spent like a good 20 minutes just keep going up the tree on the right and left. Every single person taking screenshots of who, like how many people that have under them. and for a couple of people who do qualify for the welcome back challenge, um, I actually send them the screenshot of, you have 70 people under you, if you come back with this promo and all this stuff, so I'm actually planting seeds of saying like, you know what, there is a huge team sitting on you, even though you have been inactive the past you know, year, but my team is exploding and you wanna be part of it, you don't wanna miss out. So again, going back to having the posture and telling people and, you'll be surprised people do want to help you. And I'm very open about saying, you know, about my financial goals, um, telling them about, you know, where I'm heading. And some of my people that did say, you know what, I don't think I can do business, but what can I do to help you? Should I just stay active? I'm like, yeah, that will help. <laughs> so again, going back to vulnerability and posture, I feel like we're all repeating ourselves, but it's so important. And another thing was, um, Kind of have to highlight Chelsea because she totally killed it on Friday about again posture about our timing so I'm one of those people like okay I'm available whole Saturday I'm not working call me nobody calls me okay let's follow up on Sunday I'm not doing anything even though I have a full day plan with my family but I'm going to sacrifice my time to make time for them so um I just learned that this whole weekend, you know, as I was like very open <laughs> and I realized that's going to change. So I'm committing in front of all you leaders that starting like now, um, I am not going for like 
call me anytime that you're available. No, you're going to call me when I'm available. So, <laughs> so again, going back on the posture and giving them very specific times of like, okay, I have 15 minutes now. And that actually worked. Um, I have one of my old teammates coming back to um, join again, Wendy. So shout out to her. I forgot to tell her a shout out. But she's coming back and Yay. we... Yeah, <laughs> and we've been playing phone tag, call me, no, I'm not going to be busy, or it was just oh, bad, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I'm like, you know what, I have time now, instead of text messaging, let's get on the phone, <laughs> so um, just turn that, like, instead of going back and forth with text messaging, even at the five minute connecting with your team, um, that, can, so can, just I, can I interject for a second on that really quick? Yeah. Let me tell you two phenomenally successful people in this business that do that, Herb Cepeda and Susan Miller. Nine, nine times out of 10, when I'm texting with them, they just call. And I'm like, what? They're calling? That's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then we, we, we like, it works. we get through our discussion in three minutes and we're totally clear. And then both of us can move on versus yeah. this trailed out. You know, if you let people know in the beginning, you've only got five minutes, you know? Mm -hmm. I love what you said there, Christine, because um, I, I do exactly that. Um, I give all of my prospects three times and they choose. I have a lot of people who watched the um, video, the recording last week on Get Free. And uh, as my follow up, I gave every single one of them three times to choose from this week. It, I've gotten a response from every single one of them and they've selected one of those three times that works for them. If you leave it open, a lot of times they just won't even respond. I don't know what it is about the psychology of that. It's like, oh, well, I'll figure it out. She's open, I'm open, and then it never happens. Yep. And so what I say is my calendar's filling up real quickly. I want to make sure you and I touch base next week. Here's three time slots that work for me. I usually give them one in the morning, one midday, and one in the afternoon throughout the week and let them decide. And if it's important enough to them, they'll figure it out. Yeah. Right? Um, so I love what you said about that. The one thing I'll say about your friends that are ordering for you because they, they want to help you, um, you I, I would give back by coaching them on how to go consultant. So they might not be interested in the business, but they'll ultimately fall back off again unless you show them how to get their products paid for. Our, our studies show that. So, um, you know, you can, once they get back on board and they're ordering, I would revisit that conversation and say, I know you're not interested in the business, but let me show you how to eat for free, right? Um, those are all really great shares. Anybody else want to share how they're creating committed consumers? Before we wrap up the call, I know it's 9.30, so we're at our 45-minute mark. Oh, good? Okay. I have. I've actually got some nuggets I want to share with you guys, but I don't want to do it with, like, this. I'm going to do a Facebook Live this week when I get my voice back. Um, I've got a real strategy that I follow to create um, committed consumers. It's worked really well for me but I want to make sure it's clear and you guys get the whole message. So I'm going to do a Facebook live later this week and I'll let you know and I'll post it. So, um, two calls to action. Uh, if you didn't listen to Friday's call about telling your financial story, go back and listen to it. It was incredible. Start telling it, be vulnerable. <clears throat> Number two, um, start practicing the committed consumer conversation. Um, feel better. I know. Um, start practicing the committed consumer conversation. It used to feel funny to me. It used to feel weird to me. Um, now it's second nature, even for my most product of product people who have no interest in the business. When I go to set them up for auto ship, I still do a Zoom call with them and show them the accumulated BV that they've gotten over the past four weeks by just eating this food. Um, and and I'll, I'll share some nuggets on that on my Facebook Live. But start, start thinking about how you're going to be creating those committed consumers from day one before that first auto ship goes out because it's the lifeblood of the business. And that's it because I sound horrible, but I didn't want to cancel the call. So um, does anybody have anything additionally they want to say before we wrap up the call? You guys are phenomenal. You're all rock stars. Let's continue to grow and continue to get uncomfortable. And that's where our business grows. So um, go make it a killer week. I hope to see all of you guys on the call on Monday. 
Jessica Johnston and Susan Miller just got back from a big summit with all the uh, millionaires with the company. I think you're going to get some insight from them um, moving forward on kind of the balance with GET because you guys know Susan and I are very heavy to lead with the business. Jessica and a lot of the other girls are very heavy to lead with the product. It's not that one's right or wrong. They're both right. It just depends on what's comfortable for you, what excites you, and what connects with your network. And so Jessica's really going to hit on that tomorrow because it was a big conversation in Phoenix this weekend. So I hope you guys are on the call on Monday and have a wonderful night. And cross your fingers, all my babies sleep tonight so I can sleep too. Good night.